morning, everybody. I am on top of things kind of today. I had an I have an appointment this morning, and I am on my way there. My mom and siblings are watching the boys at my house because it's close to my house. <laughs> I just accomplished a lot, I feel like. I did all the filming stuff I needed to do, took the pictures I wanted, you know, got the boys ready for the day, did laundry, got myself actually ready like a person. The only thing I didn't do was put on makeup, which I haven't been wearing for months anyway. It rained pretty much all day yesterday, or was that Tuesday? It pretty much rained all day Tuesday. Yesterday it was cloudy for like half the day, and then it just slowly started to clear up until it was super sunny in the evening. Today, sunny, colder, probably one of the colder days that it's been. But it looks like it's probably gonna get warmer, so that's exciting. It has just been, it's been a good day. I hope it stays to be a good day, continues to be good. We have practice tonight, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, kind of, kind of not because it's act two and I don't know any of my lines and we are off book, but it's fine, I'll figure them out. Anyway, so I gotta look at my lines today. Things are feeling pretty good. I'm just trying to work out like, okay, all the little things that I finally got somewhat caught up, caught up on are done. So where do I put my focus? Obviously I need to like do my lines, but like where else in the house or outside the house or whatever needs to get done around, like where do I put my focus for that? So I also gotta figure out what kind of, what the dinner plan is for today. So exciting stuff, feeling good, but motivated which is nice. We'll see how this goes. Good morning, everyone. I'm feeling like sharing some things today. So we're, we're here. Also, we're here. My shirt is too short. Yes, I, I don't judge me, okay? I'm, I'm just out here doing my best. Anyway, I want to talk today. Um, I need to do an end of the month review because it's May now. We're gonna go down and do some laundry. A, a couple of the goals on my goal list this year are financial. I always have a couple of financial goals, like every year. <laughs> and a couple of them this year were like debt related and stuff like that. And I wanted to update you because in April, we paid off our car, which technically wasn't supposed to happen until June. But I got paid a little extra from, I got an unexpected client wedding. So I decided to pay off the car, which was a really, really good feeling. And it was one of those like, yeah, we could have waited the extra two months, but we saved actually $50, $50 in interest by paying it off in April instead of waiting until it paid itself off in June, which I think is crazy for something that has a generally fairly low interest rate. To save $50 feels like a lot. But anyway, so as I'm doing laundry here, I will talk about that a little bit more in when I do the end of their month review here in a little bit. But I also sat down with my husband last night. We were going over like, we have like a whole extensive list of financial goals that weren't part of like <clears throat> my personal goals for the year. And we've kind of been like working at those really slowly. I'll say really quickly actually through the year because you know, they're just like when we get extra money here, a little bit extra there, what are we doing with it? And we want to make sure that we're doing a good job. Anyway, so we went over that list last night and we had made like a hierarchy at the beginning of the year based on what we thought we would wanna pay first and what would be our priority based on what we assumed the potential income would be. But you know, as things changed and went along and our priorities changed and like the time frame of things changed, we were able to do more than we thought at the beginning and just some extra stuff happened and whatnot. So. We went in and we reprioritized what we have left to kind of fit better like where we are, what we've got, and where we think we'll be based on like current trajectory and everything like that. So that's actually been, it was a pretty cool thing to be able to cover with him. And we had like, I kid you not, it was like 25 goals when you like broke it down. It was a lot, it was a large number. And now I think we have 10 left. And most of them, are really small and even the not really small ones everything except like I want to say four items 
will be done by July, which is huge because like one of those is my financial goal on my goal list to pay off half of our credit card debt from like our homeowners construction or whatever, because it's all like starting to expire. Cause basically what happened was we got credit cards through like different companies that sell like the supplies that we were buying when we redid, when we did our remodel. And cause if you spent over a certain dollar amount, you got zero interest for up to a year. So now that year is coming and we're just trying to like pay it all off before we have to pay interest on it, right? So that's really like where we're at with that, but getting that taken care of and everything is just really cool because it was still like, it was a large amount of money, you know? A remodel is never cheap. We did it for a very, very inexpensive cost comparably because we did it all ourselves and bought everything ourselves and like compared prices for like plumber and everything like that. The good news is that we came down to the conclusion that by the end of the year, if things are going kind of the way that they are and we're, you know, careful with what we're doing, we should have the opportunity to start finishing our basement as a whole this year. So one of our goals was to do the bathroom in the basement because we would really like like a normal tub. Um, but looking at where we'll be with everything paid off and what we'll have in terms of like we've got to kind of wait a couple of months before we can start the bathroom. We'll have more than enough for the bathroom. And if we're doing like a pay as we go kind of thing with the, cause we have a contractor that we want to work with for the basement. And then we might also get our upstairs bathroom remodeled and do it all like they'll put in the bathroom downstairs first so that we have a bathroom. Then they'll remodel the bathroom upstairs and finish the basement. And I'm really excited because that'll put in <laughs> that'll put in three bedrooms down there and a bathroom. And then it'll like wall off our utility room and it will wall off like where my laundry room is. And I'm gonna put some pocket doors in there so I can like close it when I want to. And then I can move the bookshelf that I have upstairs downstairs. So let's just take like a quickie, quick tour so you can picture what I'm thinking. So we'll go downstairs and I'll show you what it currently looks like. But this has been a pain in my side because the boys climb it. But I do want to have like a built-in bookcase on this wall, like just built-ins, like a corner bookcase, because I want my books up here. But I love this piece of furniture specifically, like this blue bookcase Gregory and I got for our first dating anniversary and built it together. I mean, it's not much to build, but like, it's kind of like a big sentimental piece. I really love how it looks. I think it's really cute, but I think it's time to move it elsewhere. And so I'm gonna move it downstairs into that hallway and just come put like knickknacks on it instead of doing like a console table because that's, that, that is totally more my vibe. The like antique with color bookcase thing, totally my vibe. So that's what we're gonna do on like, we'll have like this random like wall between a couple of the bedrooms. And that's where I want to put it. And I'm so excited. I'm going to make sure they measure so that that door is moved over far enough so I have space to put it. Because if I don't have space to put it on one of those walls, I'm going to freak out. It's fine. But we're talking and working with the contractor and doing it ourselves. So let me just take you down there. It's like a gigantosaurus mess. Like, it's a huge mess. Um, and my stairs are kind of a huge mess too. And then we got to bring the dogs and feed them. But let me show you what the basement currently looks like and what we'll be doing. The stairs shouldn't cost a whole ton to re-carpet since we have to buy carpet for obviously the entire basement because right now it's just concrete. So we'll be redoing this to the actual carpet that will be throughout the rest of here. So like right when you come down, there'll be this like landing and we'll have a fairly big space because there'll be two doors here, one to go into the bedroom, one to go in the storage room because the wall is gonna be like, we kind of have it set up, but like right here, ish um there'll be a closet on this side probably and then this technically isn't a regulation bedroom we have to talk to the people about like what the benefit will be like basically the value of the house will go up if we put an egress window in but because it'll make this like a regulation bedroom so we'll have like an actual five bedroom home but the problem is it costs like ten thousand dollars to take out a regular window and put in an egress maybe even more i don't know um and if it's not going to be cost effective right now then we probably won't do that because there's going to be no one in here and then there'll be like another wall that kind of runs along this line for this bedroom, which will be pretty, like they're gonna be pretty decent sized bedrooms, which makes me very, very excited because I mean, if we do end up having 12 kids, they'll definitely be sharing. So <laughs> that'll be really excited. And then they'll have like closet on that wall. And then this will get kind of like pushed together just a little bit. And then I wanna have 
like basically make it like a closet. So I'll put, instead of probably hang, having a hanging light, I don't know, maybe we'll leave it a hanging light, maybe we'll make it nice. And then in between, I'm going to have Gregory build me a like shelf thing that we can pull out that's on wheels that I can lock, um, that can have like baskets, like I can put my baskets in it. Like I'll have like shelves with like rolling shelves that I can put my baskets in. And then on top I can have all of my like detergent and stuff. And I wanna find a place on that to put a garbage can that I can change out because that's currently my garbage can. It's a garbage pile. Anyway, and then sliding doors in front. This will be like the bathroom area here. And then there'll be another really awkward shaped bedroom back here. Cause there's this other egress window and you know, why waste it? Um, so what we're going to do with this, oh, this light bulb went out. It's fine. Um, to kind of like maximize the space and everything because it like tucks under the stairs. We're going to make this a walk-in closet space, wall it off on that side, take out this wall here. Um, not like the whole thing because obviously it's stair support, but like on drywall it on the other side, if that makes sense. And then keep the storage stuff in here and then wall it off on this side, put a light in there, all that good stuff. So it'll be closet here with a light, closet there with a light, which will open to that side under the stairs. And then this will be all bedroom, which will be a smaller bedroom. So... Yeah, it'll be fine. And then there's obviously gonna be the bathroom here. So it'll be a huge transformation. If we're able to start on the, ba the basement project this winter, then ideally it'll be done sometime in the spring, before the summer, hopefully. And it'll be nice because at that point is when we'll be considering moving the baby into a crib, regardless of boy or girl. Like if it's a boy, we have to get bunk beds. I think we'll get bunk beds anyway so the boys can just have more space. But like, it'll just be easier if the little baby is not going into the room with a two-year-old and a four-year-old, you know? Anyway, that is kind of what that's gonna look like. I'll take you on another, I'll do a better tour of it with like a wider lens when we finally get there. But for now, that's just kind of like a closed view. Now it's time for the end of the month review. All right, end of the month review. Here we go. First, we've got goal number one. We're at 393 for sure. It kind of fluctuates back and forth between 393 and 394. Goal number two, no change. Go and watch the most recent update if you're interested. Goal number three, I have not been wearing my watch at all. I also need to clean my bedroom. So I think that those two things are partially going hand in hand right now. We'll get there. Today, we have no like big plans. So I'm gonna try and go through and do like the weekly like sweep this, mop that clean all of the things. Hopefully gonna do that. If it's not too bad tonight, I think Gregory's gonna finish mowing the lawn. He started yesterday. Mommy, the boy's Daddy. grandpa's coming over Mama, Daddy. for a little bit. So they'll hang out with him and I'll have house <coughs> quiet to myself. Yeah. Number three, or sorry, number four. We haven't really made any progress on this in the last month other than getting the stuff delivered to put up the fencing. Number five, no change. Number six, I'm on track with this one. I posted two reels in April. Number seven is half done. We paid off the car, not the medical yet, but car. Number eight, this month actually, we'll be paying down like a fifth of this. Very exciting. Number nine, I tested out a new website or I'm working on a new, with a new website builder. I still don't think it has exactly what I'm looking Mama. for. Number 10. Oh, I kind of gave an update on this in the first part of this video, but bathroom in the basement, we're not there yet, but it looks like we might get to do more than that. 11, we've been consistent on this one. Number 12, I've got a couple more things coming in for this, which is very exciting. Number 13, no change. Number 14, no change. I am working more on my fantasy novel right now though. Editing is just not coming along great, so. And unfortunately, number 15 is no change. That's kind of where we're at with the goals themselves. We've been working on a lot of other stuff and April was just really, really, really busy with the show. We really did like nothing else. But we're coming out of that. We're gonna try and do more. It's all gonna be good stuff. Very excited. So yeah. Love, Genevieve.